Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? You've probably seen this news by now. Um, Kat Terrell and others uh, I know have have had it, but um, Marcus May was a candidate for release uh, earlier in the week, as Kat noted. Um, availability probably played into it. Saints had other options in the secondary uh, that filled in well this year. Uh, Jordan Howden among them. Um, Jonathan Abram would be another. So... Cat reported earlier that Saints plan to cut Marcus May. Um, this shouldn't be surprising, right? Marcus May spent two years in New Orleans. In two seasons, he played a total of 17 games. He missed the final six games of 2023 with injury. He was suspended the first three games of this past year for violating the substance abuse policy. Remember, that was whenever he was arrested and charged with... Um, DUI when he's with the Jets. During his time in New Orleans, he was arrested back in September of 2022, charged with aggravated assault with a firearm, alleged road rage, inc rage incident. Uh, the DA refused to press charges, but still, let's be clear, man. Marcus May was a headache off the field and gave you relatively nothing on the field. Uh, he played in 17 total games. In two seasons, 17 games, had just two interceptions. He just wasn't available, and when he was available, he wasn't good. So, good riddance. The Saints will cut Marcus May. They'll save a little more than a million dollars against the cap, and they feel like they have better options at safety. And they'll figure that out. Maybe it's Jordan Howden. Maybe it's Jonathan Abram. Maybe it's some combo you know, they're in to replace him opposite Tyron Matthew. They'll figure that out or, or do what they do and not figure it out because the Saints are really bad at personnel decisions, or at least have been in the past several years. Do you realize how bad? Like, do you... We, we talk a lot about the salary cap. We talk a lot here about... Dennis Allen and Derek Carr. But when you map it out, do you realize how bad the Saints personnel decisions have been in the last several years? Really. Last year, your free agent signees were Derek Carr, Jamal Williams, who again was coming off a season where he led the NFL in rushing touchdowns, did not have a single rushing touchdown a year ago until the one against Atlanta in Week 18 that caused all the controversy when Jameis called his own play. You sign Colin Saunders and Nathan Shepard, who were pretty pretty good players in the interior, and Foster Morrow at tight end, who it's safe to say, well, although we love Foster, that was, a, that was a disappointment this year. The year before, in 2022, your, your free agent signees were Marcus May, who was a bust, Andy Dalton, one year, showed him the door. Jarvis Landry, love Jarvis, didn't work out. And Tyron, who isn't the player he was, but has still been a, a serviceable starting player for the New Orleans Saints. Those are your free agent signings, your notable free agent signings the last two years. Draft, you appear to have hit on Brian Brzee, but Isaiah Foskey mm, played in 10 games, was a healthy scratch a bunch. Kendra Miller, injured, didn't give you anything. Nick Saldaveri gave you zero as a rookie. Jake Hayner, PEDs. Jordan Howden, we mentioned, did play a bit. And A.T. Perry, I think there might be some potential. The draft before that, Chris Olave, you moved up to get him, and we think he's a really talented young receiver. Trevor Penning, total bust. Alante Taylor, better as a rookie than he was in year two. DeMarco Jackson and Jordan Jackson, miss, miss. Go back to 2021. Peyton Turner, bust. Pete Werner, when he's healthy and playing, he's good. Paulson Adebo, that's, that's been a hit. Ian Book's not on the team anymore. Landon Young. Kawan Baker, not on the team anymore. Go back further. Cesar Ruiz, been a starter for you, but a low-level starter in the NFL. Zach Bond has been a whiff. Adam Troutman's no longer on the team. Tommy Stevens didn't even make the team. You're, you you want to go Eric McCoy? C.J. Garner-Johnson, who you traded. 
Saquon Hampton didn't make the team. Alizé Max no longer with the team. Caden Ellis played well, and then you couldn't sign him this past offseason. I mean, your talent evaluation in the draft has been awful, and your free agent signings have been bad. You couple that with a bad coach and a mediocre quarterback, and you got a resume for a team that stinks, and that's what the Saints are. So they missed the playoffs three straight years. Marcus May is just the next of them. I'm not trying to sit here and be total doom and gloom, but show me where the hits are. Like where where have you nailed it in free agency? Where have you nailed it in the draft? I, I we could say Chris Olave. But you followed that up with your other first round pick by totally whiffing on Trevor Penning. Your roster isn't good. And you're overpaying aging veterans. And you're so bad at the cap that you just keep restructuring deals to tie yourself financially further to aging veterans that can't play anymore. I mean, your front office has failed in its talent evaluation. Your head coach isn't a winner. And your starting quarterback isn't a leader. At his best, he's a mid-level quarterback in the NFL. There just isn't a lot good going on with the Saints right now. I mean, I know we talk about the Saints, and a lot of you don't like to hear me go down this path when we talk about them. But what can I tell you that's good? I mean, do you want me to lie to you? Is like would that be a good thing? Should I lie to you and tell you that I think Derek Carr in in year eleven is going to find this magic fountain of youth where all of a sudden it's like Rich Gannon that year with the Raiders where he became an MVP and took him to the Super Bowl? Like, do you want me to tell you that I believe this offseason Trevor Penning is is all of a sudden going to turn into the second coming of Larry Allen? I mean, what do you want me to say? I mean, do I think Carl Granderson is all of a sudden going to become Lawrence Taylor? No, I don't. I mean, Cam Jordan had two sacks last year. Demario Davis is fantastic, but he's in his mid-30s. You're cutting one of your safeties. That was your, your big-ticket free agent acquisition two years ago. The big-ticket ac- acquisition this past year was your quarterback, who ain't any good. <laughs> in Nobody has any confidence in Mickey Loomis anymore. You just keep restructuring deals. You're awful against the cap. Like, eventually what's going to happen to this team is the bottom is going to fall out. You can keep doing this thing where you restructure deals, you're in win-now mode, all that sort of stuff, but the reality is you're not close. And I know you could say, well, look, they were 9-8 and eight a year ago. They were. They were 9-8. and eight. They lost the tiebreaker for the division. But if you're 9-8 and eight against the worst schedule in the NFL and you lose a tiebreaker in the worst division in the NFL, are you really close to being good? Or are you just like the tallest short kid? That's what the Saints are. And eventually, eventually, something, something's got to give and the bottom's going to fall out. Like, you have this house of cards that's standing up, and sooner or later, like a stiff breeze is going to come through and knock that whole thing down. Like the Jenga tower is going to tumble on the Saints because they haven't built a strong enough foundation. And you can keep this whole process every offseason of restructuring contracts and trying to convince yourself that you're close to winning, but who are you kidding? You've missed the playoffs now three consecutive years, and you're staring down a fourth year in a row. Like, do you think all of a sudden you're going to catch lightning in a bottle? You have to have a good roster to do that. Maybe they get lucky, and they have and they hit. They have a 2017 type draft, but that's the only way they're getting this thing back on track with Dennis Allen as the coach and with Derek Carr as the quarterback because their player personnel valuation stinks. I just ran through like. You can be mad at me for saying it, but I just ran through their free agent signings the last two years. Who's good? I just ran through their last five NFL drafts. Please tell me if you think you're pumped about any of that. Their talent valuation is poor. 
Their ability to manage the cap is atrocious. Their contract structures are, are the worst in the NFL. They're not close. And if they're not going to blow it up on their own accord, eventually that stiff breeze is going to come and blow the whole thing down on its own. Can't wait to see what big ticket item the Saints go spend on here in a couple weeks. Another Marcus May. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.